Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to get ready to do another high point test uh, kind of experiment. Um, if you follow my channel, uh, you'll know that I've been trying to come up with a plug and play system um, for the high point C9 magazine. Um, I think I've basically have proven and have made it pretty clear that the main issue with feeding issues out of your high point C9 at least um, is uh, the weak magazine springs. Generally, they're good for about four or five hundred rounds. They get weak, um, and they start causing failures. So I've been trying to come up with uh, a plug-and-play spring, basically something you could just buy, pull, take the old spring out, put the new spring in, go play, have fun, um, no modifications. Um, and basically, what I've come up with um, is Ghost Ink. Um, they make a uh, spring for the Glock 43. Uh, it's a 15% increased spring. Um, and I just so happen to have one um, from the 43 that I had. And, um, you know, I got looking and comparing the springs. And I'm like, you know, this probably works. 13 coils, same as the high point. Um, the coils are spread apart more, um, but it should work. So basically, I made a video on that. Um, I, I can put a link in the description to where you can go and, and follow that video. Um, it has all the uh, the links and stuff where you can just go and just buy it. Um, so what I've done, the reason why this is a two-part video is this spring is really, really tight. So what I wanted to do was I, I wanted to, to load this mag and let it set to help break down some of that spring uh, tension because basically the springs are like brand new. And we all know you need to load your mags, let them set. So that's what I wanted to do. Uh, it was extremely tight. And then to further it, I this this gun has been setting basically in the gun. So it's even compressing it even more. And it's been setting like this uh, for approximately three weeks. Um, and I wanted to do that to give it a fair chance before I test fired it. I didn't want to just load it into the mag and then just go right out and have failures because the spring was just too tight and it was just inoperable to slide or or whatever it might do but i wanted to give it a fair chance um so that's what we're going to do i'm going to head out to the range and uh, i'm going to test fire and i'm also going to be using um ammunition that's by a, a company called rush creek it's they're a remanufacturing um a company and they're out of ohio they're literally like 30 minutes away from here, I'll put a link up to their description where you can go and order. Great deals. Um, a thousand rounds of 115 grain for $169. And I'm sure there's a shipping price, but I mean, come on, let's face it. That's a hell of a deal. So um, I'm also going to be testing that ammo. So, you know, I'm hoping the ammo works good so that way it gives the gun a fair chance. So it's a, um, it's a test for both. Basically, I'm going to be testing the ammo and I'm also going to be testing if it works in the gun. So uh, I guess two tests in one, basically. So without further ado, uh, further ado, we are going to head out to the range and we're just going to see what happens. So uh, hang on one moment and I'll have some uh, different different footage. Um, I'm going to try and cut it close um, as far as editing. And uh, that way you don't have to set through uh, me reloading and stuff like that. So hang on one moment. Okay, so we're out here. Mag fully loaded. Uh, be doing a lot of plus ones uh, to really test this magazine. High point and Rush Creek ammunition. So let's get started. Mag two. Okay, that's more than likely the gun.
I'll chalk that up as the gun. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but uh, I've done literally nothing to this gun. Uh, feed ramp, everything, nothing. It's all OEM. Only thing I've done is uh, with the oil test, cleaned it with oil and wiped everything out. Um, so there is still a little bit of light oil in it. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, you can count them out. I'm doing all. I'm doing nine rounds. That way, we get the full um, test on the springs with this magazine. I do that shit. Well, hey guys, I got a uh, little surprise. Um, guy I met a couple times out here at the range. Um, he come oh. walking down and uh, he uh, seen I was shooting a high point, so he just shot a mag through it. And I'm going to basically let him shoot and then kind of tell you guys. Let him tell you guys what he thinks about it. It's his first, uh, basically his second mag through the high point. So uh, let's get somebody else's um, opinion, somebody that has a non-biased opinion on the gun. So, and you're ready to go. You got to uh, tug the slide back. There See you right go. There. Yep. Good to go. Just drop one in. Just go ahead and shoot. Yep. That's crazy. I'm left, but <laughs> I'm always left. So. Well, one of the best parts about it is it does have a fully adjustable sight. So this is your up and down. This is your side to side. So you could always adjust it to, to however you're shooting the, yeah. the firearm. So yeah, I would say dead serious. I mean, I've shot a lot of you know good bit of handguns now. I'm somewhat new to this though, but my gosh, dude, that thing's as accurate as it gets. Dead on. And for less than two hundred bucks. Oh my gosh, for the price, yeah, I'm gonna pick one up probably. Yeah. Well, and they're up. they're uh, you know, like I tell people, not necessarily something I would carry unless I had no no other options. Great throwaway gun. Um, but something that you could throw in your glove box or toss it around, beat it up. Yeah. Something you throw on your gator, on your four wheel, or something like that. <laughs> throw reloads you find on the ground in. Yeah, we just did that. We <laughs> we found some real sketchy reloads on the ground and. Uh, he was like, man, do you trust these? And I was like, well, I'll throw them in the high point. If it blows it up, I'll just send it back and get a new one, right? That's it, dude. Yeah, because their warranty is uh, probably the best warranty on the market. No questions asked. Send you back. could destroy I could go out here and run this over with my truck or my car and uh, scrape up the pieces and send it in, and they'll, they'll give me a new gun. I'd be surprised if it broke. I mean, this thing's tough as nails, though. It really is, right. it looks like. So what's your overall opinion on it? I mean, with being kind of new to the, to the sport and— dude. Uh, yeah, you know, I spent 500 bucks on my first pistol. Why not spend 130 and, and you know, jeez, <laughs> get a couple of them, get every round, you know, get well, every, and, every you know, caliber. I don't know how you feel about the economy and how things are going, but in my opinion, I say, how many people can you arm for 150 bucks? Well, any, everybody. Everybody. You could hand off your friends and family. On a minimum wage income, you could get you yeah. a high point. Yeah. And shoot it. So. Which rush your camera, too? Right, with the Rush Creek ammo. Right. Uh, and this is the guy that actually kind of got me turned on to the Rush Creek last time we was out here. So, um, but yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more clips here, but I just wanted to kind of throw that in. Uh, he said he would volunteer to be on on, on the film. So, um, there you go. You have a, a non-biased opinion. Okay, so I'm going to sum this up as a pretty successful day. Um, I don't know how many mags that was. Uh, I did have the one failure. Uh, it was a fail to go in battery, but like I said, uh, I'm going to chalk that off as uh, the gun considering uh, nothing's been polished. So um, as another test when 
uh, this video when I get home I'm going to take this completely apart and just show you just how dirty it is uh, to show you how clean that the ammunition basically burns and to prove to you that I have not polished anything on the inside to uh, to enhance any reliability out of this gun um, so hope you guys enjoyed um, Glock 43 Ghost Inc 15% increase mag spring and the high point C9. Um, it's a thumbs up in my book. Um, Butler or uh, Rush Creek ammo is a thumbs up in my book. So, all in all, a uh, successful day. So, uh, if you hang on one moment, um, I'm going to show you just how dirty the gun is. So, uh, I appreciate everything and um, Weird, though. <laughs> all right so um yeah after this was all over with um you know he comes back and he starts rambling about the high point i I'm had to pissed. stop him so that way, <laughs> i'm pissed that way i could get him on film so go ahead and tell him what you were just telling me well i'm sitting over here i get done shooting i go back over i'm shooting my gun thinking like oh i can't wait you know like see how a real gun feels right i shot my xd shit sorry I hear myself Shot my XD Mod 2, and I uh, love this gun to death, but then I'm like sitting there like, I hate that fucking high point because, oh, excuse me, I can't cuss. No, you can cuss, yeah, that's fine. I hate that damn high point because, <laughs> how can you be mad at a gun, fixed barrel, fed every round perfect, is shot through like a dream, I shot the, you know, the, the trigger's a little different, but how can you be mad at it? I mean, 150 bucks, gee, man, Chris, I've done one of those in a heartbeat, I'm just kind of mad at myself now. I should have listened when people told me, don't spend, just get your high point. But I don't know, it just kind of pissed me off. Like, I'm thinking, like, how much money did I spend? But I didn't have to. And I asked him, I said, what's the downfall? He said, you know, that's the spring. Showed me, stretch the spring out, throw it back in. I mean, if you're, as long as, as, long as your gun is feeding through and, 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 and it shoots every time. How can you be mad at any gun? Right, that's that's it, why you pay the big money, right? And there, it's an right? affordable option that could save your life. Yeah, 100%. You know, on any um, budget, any budget. Yeah. So, so, all right, man. Well, but yeah, I just wanted to get him on film here. He come over and have me rolling. He'd come over and I hate the high point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, when I get back to the house, I'll take it apart and uh, show you how uh, dirty it is after all them rounds, uh, with the rush Creek ammo. All right. We're going to wrap this video up here, but, uh, like I promised, um, back at the house now, um, and I just want to show you just how clean that um, uh, Rush Creek ammunition uh, fires. I'm, I didn't count how many mags we shot, but they were all on film except for like maybe two. Okay, so not a lot of rounds put through it, but you'll get the general idea. And um, the 43, Glock 43 Ghost Spring did excellent in this magazine as a replacement spring we did have the one failure which it's on film i don't hide none of that stuff from you guys um i'm pretty sure that that was the gun because it was a failed going battery and uh i'm going to show you one how dirty the gun is two that i'm not lying when i when i'm telling you i haven't done any modifications to this gun okay so slide And you see there's a little copper grease there that splashed up um, from where I put it into the, the sear assembly there to help polish itself out. Okay. It's pretty good, right? And you see I haven't done anything, haven't done anything to it yet. I want to get my, my testing all out of the way. You can see the feed ramp has not been polished yet. And it's all the dirt that came off of it. Okay. 
barrel is relatively clean, hasn't had anything ran down through it. You don't see a bunch of uh, um, debris or anything in the barrel. The sear assembly, which you don't get too much dirt, but a lot of times you'll get, uh, if you're a high point owner, you know you get like a, a dirt channel right here from the firing pin uh, slot in the slide. A little copper grease. Outside of the barrel, nowhere. And basically what I'm using, I'm, I'm going the cheapest route I can with this, and basically what I'm using to clean this gun is uh, motor oil. Um, a lot of people don't know, but motor oil has cleaning agents in it. Um, and it's cheap and it's a high point and I don't want to use expensive frog lube and stuff on a on a cheap firearm just yet so okay um oh firing pin not real dirty a little bit of dirt debris there and probably the dirtiest thing in the whole gun is the doll head. All right, now she's clean. Let's go put a thousand rounds through it. No, I'm just playing. Um, get the focus back here. There we go. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you that how dirty it was after the rounds, which there's barely anything in it. I mean, honestly, I swab the barrel and put it back together and call it a day um but i am going to clean it i'm just going to use the motor oil and um that's it so thanks for watching guys and um like always subscribe hit like uh thumbs up um add the favorites share this video uh, as much as you can to try to help out the channel um but like always i want to um uh, uh encourage you to be performance driven and demand greatness in life um, you deserve it thanks for watching